On this week's boiler tip, we're going to talk about bottom blowdown. Um, ideally, when we're uh, doing blowdown on a boiler, um, it's nice to have the boiler in low fire. And the reason is that if we blow down too long and we trip the low water cutoff, um, we've shifted the load to other boilers and that eliminates a big upset in the system. But if you've got a lot of demand on the boilers and you can't really afford to shut down production or reduce production to lower the rate on one boiler, um, the question is, is what's the best thing to do? And basically we have to do bottom blowdown. And so if you can't take a boiler to a lower firing rate, um, we just want to do shorter, more frequent blowdowns. That's going to reduce the risk of tripping the boiler on low water while we do the blowdowns. And so by short blowdown, that may just mean opening the quick open valve, opening the slow open valve as fast as we can to full open, and then closing again, and then shutting off the quick open blowdown. So it actually is beneficial to do more frequent shorter blowdowns overall because it gives us a more steady conductivity on the boiler if we're controlling it that way. But also when we blow down, um, we're getting the stuff that's immediately close to the blowdown outlet. So letting it set for a little while and then blowing it down again is, is not a bad procedure. There's really no drawback to that. And just remember, it's more important to, to blow down that boiler in whatever way is available than it is to neglect that duty.